Okay, uh, let's see. People are saying straggling elk, elk port. Let's go for it. How do these people hear about these things, by the way? They're like, I heard about a straggler in here, and it's like, okay? How? It's not like you're stopping to talk to anybody. Okay. I'm looking for a ride to the secret place up ahead. Well, she's out of AP. Now, unfortunately... Vasil is, mu is pretty mucked up. We do get a med kit, though, which is good. Okay, and we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna keep. Yeah, let's let's heal up Vasilis. Take his flare for the time being. Did we get anything neat? What's he got in his hand? Okay, so fear being... Now can I inspect said tent? Not really. Okay, so there's no gas here. I guess that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can get in. And then we can run the new guy over. <laughs> let's not do that. Okay, so he, he can't do anything. At least for a bit. Uh, something broke. Get in. Okay, turn on. I'm gonna run over the smaller guy. Because I'm not sure what that's going to do for me. Strap him to the roof. He'll be fine. We've got enough room for three people, which is mostly good. This poor guy is still messed up, though. Okay, and we got to go for fuel in Springbury, but we'll need to be careful. But yeah, there's a push option, there's a pull option, there's open... Uh, at the same time, I'm kind of being quick here, if only because everything is scary as shit. It's not as bad now. Now that I, now that I understand how this works. Just don't stand directly next to them. Ever. Okay, he's got gas. He's got gas. Okay, I think we're good. Just gonna have him run away. We've got oh, we've got another we've got another dumpster I should check out. If I can get to it. Gonna have her get in. Fill the car up the rest of the way. Then I'm gonna have him do like a mad dash for gas. Okay. I'm gonna have her run out here. Having two people. Okay, correction. Changing mind. get in? Well, they can get in the next round. 
Something is rumbling and I don't like that. Yeah, there might be like big boys of some variety. And I don't want to deal with it. I'm just leaving him in in the car currently so that he can always get us out of there. Yeah, suck at strategy games, but this seems interesting. It's kind of puzzly, which I appreciate. Admittedly, I'm kind of just doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep heading for the gas. Ideally, I'd like to replace some of my junk with just more fuel and just carry a, a bunch around, but I don't know. <gasps> Undo that. Oh, we don't, we don't want to do that. Now, this is a lot of dudes. Did they, oh, they kill each other. Maybe. But when do they kill each other? I wonder if you can hide in bushes. Probably not. Oh, he could also escape? Interesting. Alternatively, we could take the hit. I'm gonna pick that shield up. And turn. How much fuel does the car have? Car's still got four fuel. I'm just gonna have her get in. Why does she get? Okay. She's still got the shield.
Okay. So they don't they don't care. Nice to get that extra fuel, but I think we're fine. So you can't bring extra fuel for, with you unless maybe I, uh, unless maybe I get rid of that plant. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, could you not leave with two cars? I have no idea. I should probably get rid of the plant, but this is an escort quest at this point. Okay, so car in good shape by the bay. Go for supplies. Traders there. Uh, it's go for supplies, because if we can get some equipment or like a backpack or something, then maybe we'll do okay. I I don't know. Oh, good, we got a headlight. Unfortunately, it's dark as shit, which always makes this a bit harder. We've got a generator somewhere. And I can't siphon anything out of it. I'm just gonna wander around with a shield. There's a store. I think? Okay, we've got a vehicle there. Uh, oh, she's got a teddy bear. And he's got, what does he have? A knife. It's more than once. Starting to rumble. I don't like that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scaredy cat. We're fine. Let's see. You can turn on the car. And ram? No. Escape. There we go. I'm amazed these people can survive the drive, seeing as they can barely see a couple feet ahead of them in the dark. Yeah. I don't know. I... Being able to see in the dark, it's one of those where, like, a lot of games just go pure pitch, pitch black, and I'm not sure if I'd be able to see that well in that situation. I, I don't know. Mixed feeling on that. But we've got some traders here. They've got binoculars and a backpack. Okay. Hello, I am here to trade. For trades, this is it. This is the place. How, how do trade? Free truck? Alright, and pick something out. Oh, I see. Uh, trade for a backpack? Okay, so we got the backpack. 
to have him pop out of the car. We've also got the plant. Looks like we can uh, trade both. Okay, give him that. Go back, and over the plants. You plants, take binoculars. What do binoculars do? I value locations on map. Yeah, that's worth it. Put the backpack. Can I have him pop out? And he can't do anything. Okay, anybody else able to do anything? I guess I'll just have... Uh, let's take the knife, and then I'll have him get in. Okay, I want to go inspect this truck as well. I'm going to give him the binoculars, actually. Inspect. Off-road. Two empty seats. And a lot of inventory. Don't care. Yeah, hopefully we can find, like, a proper S SUV or something at some point. Okay, so let's go back here. Hop in the car. Let's see. You don't equip the binoculars. I... I'm pretty sure I do. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did. It'd be very strange if you can't. I, I don't really know. Yeah, it's their truck. Uh, the lady had said free truck, which had surprised me a little bit. I was just like, okay? Well, where do we go? I guess we're going here. Clear that blockade if we want to continue. Uh, that's a new one. How do we do this? That sucker is spooky. So these cars are busted. faster. I could Molotov. Oh! So if you're within two spots of that sucker, it hurts you. We might have to get Killy. Unfortunately, we don't have... We have the knife. Kill. <gasps> gonna get in? Wait, what? Uh...
pick it up? Oh, and they're here. Okay, filled up. They're pissed. End turn. Okay. Fill up. Eh. Get in. Turn on. Is that a juice? They're gonna back up a bit. Okay. Get in. Should be good. So the truck can offer it a bit. It's end turn. Okay, so they will they will kill the barrier. Ram the barrier. Ram, ram the barrier again. Oh, and escape. Okay, so apparently those wooden barricades completely wreck cars. I have learned this is bad. Well, there's the gas. Okay. So we got a lot of these little suckers, which is not what I want. He might die. I'm gonna heal him. She's about to get nibbled on. He's not. He's kind of in trouble. I'm gonna move him here. Oh, they killed it. Okay. Well, shit. Everyone dies. I think... I think I lose. There's not much I can do here, because effectively there's so many of them that, like, getting around this is rough. We have, like, no gas. I could just attempt to get in and just hope for the best. Anyway, she's dead with the gas and the backpack, and they're all just here. I'm just gonna enter and let's see what happens. So yeah, they do break the car. Okay. Well, this is gonna be the end of the, the journey here. I like this game. It feels a bit limited in scope for me. I was hoping that we'd have more like tools at our disposal, but for the most part, it's just a matter of how do I move my character on it. I guess it reminds me of uh, chess in an interesting way 
where it, it's more about your your character's movement than anything else. Unfortunately, uh, it scales, yeah, really, really quickly and doesn't really give you the tools to deal with it. I'm, I'm sure maybe had I managed my gas better, I might have been able to get some more things. But, like, one backpack was enough to carry, like, a potted plant and or, like, a knife or something like that. And I, I kind of wish each character had, like, a two-by-two two, uh, grid inventory size. And so the knife would f take up a one-by-two spot. The the uh, med kit might only be a one-by-one. One. You know, so each character has a little bit more and then put a backpack on. You can get a little bit more space on top of all of that. And also, maybe some just interesting survival tools, like tripwires or, or, or traps-ish, maybe? I don't know. I just felt like I was very limited in what I, what I could do to deal with an ever-scaling threat. And it's like, I could see some people really getting into this and really, like, absolutely mastering it and, like, kicking ass at it. I'm just not sure if I'm, uh, it's in a spot where I'd be, like, super interested in, like, Pushing myself there. Maybe? I don't know. I'd rather have a massive toolbox in, like, Phoenix Point or XCOM, I guess. Yeah, I was expecting you to punch aliens. I was expecting a little bit more fighting, yeah. But the fact that you can't fight a single alien because then it just, like, swarms you is rough. I don't know. Either way, lovely style, great tension. I think truly what it would be is more interesting inventory management... More interesting character abilities, and maybe more interesting levels. We kept going around the outsides of buildings, but it would have actually been really cool if you'd like, if you could go into buildings and like scoot around the creatures too. Like, Seven Days to Die has a really decent system for this. Where, you know, if you hit one zombie, they all kind of, if you make too much noise, they all start coming at you. But otherwise, for the most part, they're kind of mild. But it's it's not that they're infinite spawning. Uh, there are abilities to people. I just haven't played much. Okay. I might play more. It's just, after an hour, it's kind of like the same general thing of just like, tiptoe around, too many enemies, get ganked, die? I don't know. Yeah, only certain aliens should be able to summon more. Yeah. Or like, if they spot you or something, they start summoning more. But if you can silent take down them. Because like, you should be able to like... Stealth stab them or, or something. I don't know. I, again, not bad. Maybe just not my cup of tea or maybe just more tools in the toolbox later and then we'll get there. I don't know. And yes, you can get a bunch of dogs. I did see that, which looked really cute. But that would make me feel even worse trying to keep them alive. Because, like, with people, it's like, okay, whatever, sociopath. Uh, You know, just kind of, they're just digital people. But doggos, oh. And maybe you could take them down in other ways. Not that I saw, but it would have been cool if you, if you could, like, actually lead them into traps or, or tricking them into setting themselves on fire and dying without pissing off the rest. I, I think it's just ma uh, mainly the thing of, I want to be able to take one or two out tactically without screwing myself over, and I didn't really have that option. Because, yeah, I, I wasn't even sure if it was a good idea to set oil on fire. Because, yeah... What if that just pissed, summoned, like, six more? Because they come quick, too. It's not like you have five rounds. You have two rounds before they show up, and they show up in mass. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, just because I've got so many other games on my plate. And if people really want me to play more, then I will. But for now, thank you for watching. I'm going to go play something else.